one feet. All right, don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Valdez Lyon. And uh, a shout out to Dean Phillip listening in New Zealand, who is a stall competitor there, the champion down. He's a winner down there, stall competitor. He is uh, watching all the way from New Zealand. A little shout out to our friends down there. Yeah, I was just uh, down there a couple of years ago. Got to uh, My dad got to fly in a uh, Spitfire. With his good buddy Gavin for Fury. Again, this is Cash Car. Big improvement for Cash Car. 79 feet. 79 feet. Seventy-six feet for Shane O'Kane. So Shane's got a lot of flight time in this uh, in this aircraft for this competition. Yeah, I, I believe he flew it before flying it from. Before Shane took off from Florida, he had a total of three hours in a Super Cup. Now he's got about 53. So we had uh, 79 feet for Cash Carr, 76 feet for Shane O'Kane, 79 feet for Wrangell Jensen, and 67 feet for Dennis Seary. So Cash Carr is coming in. His first landing distance was 198 feet. be a scratch there for Boy. Cash Car. Unfortunate as that was very close. Very close. He had a great takeoff distance as well. Coming in next, Shane O'Kane from Okeechobee, Florida. Losing his tan as we speak. <laughs> 78 feet was his first takeoff distance, 76 this time. His first landing distance was 110 feet. Let's see what he can do here. Looks like a good landing. One hundred forty two feet, one forty two. Also, the totem in, Gary Ward, aerobatics, amazing, and Valdez Food Cash. And uh, unfortunately, we did scratch on that landing. We did have a scratch.
And then a series scratch on the landing. Maybe too long of a wait there between runs for them. They lost the mojo a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe. Well, that does conclude the Foxtrot heat, the final heat for the Bush class. And now we will have our final set for the day. This is alternate Bush class, the experimental class. Our competitors in the alternate bush class, Toby Ashley from Palmer, Chuck Kinberger from Jupiter, Florida. Ron Langseth from Valdez. Lucas Stutzer from Chugiak. And Chuck Miller, who's also from someplace. Oh, never mind. Chuck Miller is a typo. But I'm sure he's still from someplace. Incidentally, our prize for the alternate bush class is Acme Aero Black Ops Shocks. This technology was honed in NASCAR F1 and Baja Racing Series. And they're excited to introduce the Acme Aero Black Ops Shock. Direct bolt-on replacement. Bolt-on replacement for most bungee and spring landing gear systems. And now, unlike other bolt-on, you see the Aero Black Ops significantly controls a rebound and compression with their proprietary internal dampering system, which I know absolutely nothing about. Well, shock saying seemed like a pretty good prize for this for this class. Yes, it does. I know shocks. But they lose me with a proprietary internal dampering system, which I'm sure is spectacular. <laughs> Toby Ashley coming in for his first practice landing. Which I'm sure is an actual landing. It's not really a practice landing. And Toby and landing. Cub Once again, don't forget to go into the airport there where there is a little bit less wind. And you got the Valdez Fisheries table, and you can pick up a ticket for their raffle. Again, the grand prize for that raffle is a $2,500 voucher to Alaska Air. Make sure you grab one of those. Of course, another uh, reminder for our banquet tonight, 7 yeah. o'clock. Up there at the Civic Center, $30 tickets available also at the side, the registration desk, or at the counter.
You can see him trying to time that out just to kill it at the right moment. Came up just shy on that one for the practice round. Now I think we're ready. We are ready to go. This is for reals. Again, this is Toby Ashley from Palmer. Twenty-nine feet, two nine. Woo. Well played. That's a good start. Now it's Chuck Kinberger from Jupiter, Florida. Got a couple guys up here from Florida. Twenty-nine feet for Toby Ashley. For Chuck Kinberger, it is twenty-nine feet. Good way to start it. Dead heat there. And now from Valdez, Ron Langseth. Really, people, he's from Valdez. Give him some love for crying out loud. It's Ron's first time in this competition. Did the flower bombing last year. 98 feet. So Ron went from being a uh, line judge to a competitor. And now from Chugiak, Luce, Lucas Stutzer. <laughs> 51 feet, 5-1 for Lucas Stutzer. Now Toby Ashley will make his way in. And he had a 29-foot takeoff distance. Good solid landing. Seventy six feet, seven six for Toby Ashley. So one oh five is his total. One oh five. And now Chuck Kinberger. scratch. So close. We'll get another shot at it. And wrap up our final round here in just a bit. Don't forget uh, the banquet tonight, 7 o'clock. Making his way in now for his first landing. Ron likes it. Good landing. One twenty seven, one two seven for Ron Langston. 
25 total. And now Lucas Stutzer. Is, do we have uh, Brad from Cup Crafters? Brad from Cup Crafters, come on up. Come on up to the announcer stand, please. A shimmy there at the end. One twenty one, one two one for Lucas Stutzer. Last round coming up. Well, this is it. So far, it is Toby Ashley in first with the 105 total. Lucas Stutzer in second. Ron Lanks at third. And the winner gets that beautiful set of shocks as well. Twenty-seven feet, two seven for Toby Ashley. So he picked up a couple feet from his first takeoff. Chuck Kinberger also had twenty-nine feet on his first takeoff. Fifty-two, fifty-two feet for Chuck Kinberger. That'll be a good one for Chuck. He's got one more chance to make that landing, though. Ron Langseth, ninety-eight feet on his first attempt. Oh, I think he definitely beat ninety-eight feet. Seventy-six feet, seven-six for Ron Langseth. Twenty-two foot improvement. And now Lucas Stutzer. Fifty-one feet the first time for Lucas. Fifty-three this time. And next up, making his uh, final landing here for this competition is Toby Ashley from Palmer. 76 feet the first time. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, no, no, it gets a scratch. So close on that one, just a few feet is all that. But he had that good first round, so sitting pretty good. Chuck Kinberger will have to land it within 53 feet to take over the top spot. If we get that shuttle, takes off, starts going back and forth at 6 to the Civic Center and back following the banquet for you folks out here staying at the airport. That looks like a good landing. Be a close one. Eighty-eight feet. Eighty-eight. One forty total. That's the new second place spot here in the Bush class. Now Ron Langseth on his way in. He had a 127 foot landing here the first time. Got Brad here from Cub Crafters. It's got to be a nice day to sit and watch all these uh, all these rides today. Thanks for being here and sponsoring this round. 
Oh, thank you very much. It's an absolute privilege to sponsor the Valdez Stoll event, and uh, we plan on doing it every year. Well, uh, as we got the uh, Coast Guard taking off in the background there. Got the Herc just in time to... There's a Herc just in time. Tell us a little bit about Cup, uh, Cup Crafters while we're up here at the booth. Uh, Cup Crafters was uh, begun in 1980 and started building Super Cubs, Super Cubs in 1994 after Frank quit. And uh, we've carried that tradition forward ever since. The uh, latest version is the X-Cub, which is... Uh, I didn't mind the booth, I saw a lot of people have seen it. That's why we were certified that way. And they still know if they want to just saw the business. Well, uh, not a better place to experiment with Cubs in Alaska, correct? Uh, Alaska is one of our favorite spots. We're very appreciative of the uh, Alaska Pilots. Well, tell us, oh, beautiful landing on that one. Hold He's picking up a little more now for this